everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Well, <clears throat> it is 90 degrees outside and the pollen index is 10.6. So, you get me in my glasses today, a little bit sweaty. I realize when I film with my glasses, it makes my eyebrows look like they're real, like, Groucho Marx eyebrows, so sorry about that. Hopefully you can avoid, you can, like, ignore that. I just have a haul for you. It's just some stuff that I've been, like, collecting, like, stuff that I've been getting here or there saved up along the way. And uh, first off, I gotta show you this hat that I got at Nordstrom. First off, like, L.A., here, I'll take my glasses off. First off, LA is totally land of the hat. Like, we wear hats constantly. Whether it's to, like, Saturday or Sunday brunch. Like, we just wear hats all the time. Like, fre frequently I'll go somewhere and, like, a bunch of us will have hats on. And it's always the black hat, the black floppy hat. So I was like, oh, look at this, like, pink one's so cute. So I have it, like, gray, black, like, beige or whatever. But I wanted this, like, like kind of, like, dusty rose one. So picked that up at Nordstrom. Wait, I gotta put my glasses back on, otherwise I can't see you guys. Okay, now I can see. Um, and I also picked up a really cool pair of shoes, and I don't know where they are. They might be in my car. I can't remember where I put those, but they're not back in this bag, so sorry about that. Okay, I had some stuff sent to me, which is pretty awesome, and one of those things is a set of the Smith Cosmetic Brushes. Okay, let's be straight up. You guys know I'm like a total makeup brush snob. Like, they're dirty because I used them today. This right here, the 115 favorite foundation brush ever. Oh my gosh, this one right here, 232, amazing crease brush. Where's my eye brush? That's my favorite one that I'm like using every day. This is the 256. Look at that shape for a flat shader brush. It's life. I am going to do a dedicated video review on these because I think they're that good. And you guys know I'm like ride or die Wayne Goss makeup brushes, which I love and I will always use forever and ever and amen. I haven't used my Wayne Goss brushes, at least eye brushes, since I got the Smith brushes. I've used some of the Wayne Goss face brushes for sure, but the eye brushes, I haven't used any of them since I got the Smith brushes. So if that tells you anything, it tells you that these are really good. It's really throwing me off to film with glasses on, so I'm so sorry. I feel like it's so dorky. Um, not that glasses are dorky. I'm just not used to seeing myself in glasses, so sorry about that. Anyway, Smith Cosmetics, I'm going to link their website down below in case you've never heard of them. Legitimately phenomenal brushes, and you can look for a dedicated review on these because they totally deserve so it. So I had an Ulta gift card left over from Christmas that I hadn't used yet. My sister and brother-in-law sent that to my, no, my brother and sister-in-law sent that to me. And I was really excited because the Makeup Revolution stuff was buy one, get one half off, and you basically have to get it online. So I got, this is the All About Bronze palette. Look at that. So matte bronzers, shimmer bronzers, and then two baked like highlighty bronzers. I have these all over today. I'm wearing so many of these. I even contoured with these today. I was like, I'm just going for it with this whole palette. I probably used most of these shades on my face and I look really tan as a result. And then I also, this was the one I was super excited about. This is the Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice. Oh my gosh, look how pretty of a blush palette that is. Like, I was getting it for myself, but I was kind of also like, I wonder if I'd want that in my pro kit. I don't know how pigmented they are. Um, I'm wearing this blush today with this over the top of it. So you can see, but really all you can see is my bronzer today. It was 90 degrees, so I was like, let's just get, uh, let's get beachy. So anyway, can't wait to try these out. I know you're going to have a lot of questions about those. I promise I will do more review. I will talk about those more once I know more about them. I also picked up the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. Now, I never wear powder foundation ever, 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 ever. I do have this on today. I think it's a little bit dark for me. I feel like I look a little bit tan, even without the bronzers. Um, I put it back in its packaging, but... Um, you can see I definitely got into that today because it's all dusty, but everybody raves about this product. In fact, I think I remember like a long, long time ago, Laura from Miss Lola Lynn. I think that's, yeah, that's what her channel is. It's not, it's not Laura Lola. It's Miss, it's not Miss Laura, Miss Lola Lynn. <clears throat> my friend Laura, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like, my tongue's like all tied. Let's blame it on the allergy medicine. But anyway, 
I'm pretty sure I saw her talk about this once a long, long time ago. And if I remember correctly, she was like, ride or die, that's my favorite. Like, can't live without it. So I was like, I've always kind of had this on the back of my radar to try. And I thought, yeah, you know, I'm placing an order. I want to get free shipping. I might as well throw that in. And then I really wanted the little tart thing of heart blushes. They have the palette. So I ordered that also. And then after my order said like shipped, then I got an email like two days after it said your order's been shipped. I got an email. I was like, oh, by the way, that's out of stock. You're not getting it. And I'm like, well, it wasn't out of stock when I ordered it. And it wasn't out of stock when you charged my credit card for it. And it wasn't out of stock when it said my order was shipped. So that's such a bummer. So anyway, I didn't get that. I missed out on that which super bums me out. Okay, some other things. Let's see what else is in here. So I didn't go to Gen Beauty because I don't give a crap about Gen Beauty. So I did not go to it as an event. Um, but I did go to the City Color Dinner, um, which was super fun. My friend, I went with my friend Gina is um, um, XO. I'll link her channel down below. And they gave us a really sweet like swag bag. And I haven't even really like looked like through much of the stuff in the swag bag yet but this palette is bomb this is their timeless beauty palette it's not even out yet it comes out i think in march these blushes are so gorgeous they're super pigmented but these highlighters are major i love them this is definitely too rosy this is a blush for me that's just like a big shimmer blush but like these two for highlighters are so pretty especially this like center one like let me swatch this for you can you tell? I mean, look at that. That's like Becca pigment swatch level, like legitimately like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And actually, let me swatch one of these like blushes for you. So you can see like how pigmented that is. Like how pretty is that? That's like serious pigment though. So this palette comes out in March. I don't even have like a price point for you, but my guess is it's going to be under $20. It's city color. So um, I've never used any of their stuff. This will be kind of like the first thing for me, but I cannot wait to really put so this is cool. You guys know that a couple times a year I do like a makeup swap with my friends and we do a swap box and it's like you put in, you take out all that kind of stuff. Like, and I just got the box and just mailed off the box. Um, and I want to show you some of the things that I picked up out of it because I'm kind of excited about a couple of these items. So let me pull these out right here. Okay, something I was most excited about, it's funny because I don't really use a ton of stuff from the brand Bare Minerals, but this is a highlight. There, It's their Ready Luminizer called The Magic Moment. And honey, when I saw that, I was like, get in my life. This is so pretty and so soft and subtle. You can see that's really more like the highlight I like to wear is like that every day. Like you can go to the grocery store and people aren't like, what? so pretty so so pretty so I had to have that um I was really I don't even have a I usually have like a wipe and I don't even have a wipe to like wipe off swatches today um I was super excited because there's a Burberry eyeshadow in there number three porcelain and I have a feeling that this one is not in any of my um like quads that I have but it's like a perfect just like a neutral you can hardly even see it like just neutral like lid color crease color transition color just really pretty was super excited about that and that's the first that's my first like burberry single shadow that i have um i picked up this christian dior dior show fusion mono and this is in the color 821 shmir Sh shmir i don't even know but it's just like pink glitter goodness honestly it um it's very like sheer. It's not that opaque, but it's so pretty. And I've been loving it with my Natasha Denona palettes. Oh my gosh. It's like so good with both of them. Um, I picked up this Kiko, Kiko, Kiko or Kiko. I don't can't, I don't know how to say this. This is their desert sand and rose coral blush. And I don't have anything from this brand. I've never used anything from this brand, but look how pretty that is. Like more of like a mauve, like bronzy mauve. And then like a peachy, like kind of like corally pink color. Oh, it's so pretty. I've used this and I like it. I am not gonna lie. I think it's awesome. Um, and then I should put this on. Oh, I picked, this is like a Bare Minerals, another Bare Minerals thing, Loud and Clear Lip Sheer Balm Transparent. And this is in um, Magenta Vibe. Oh. I think this might have gone bad. Yeah, 
yeah. Um, I don't have anything from Lancome. Can you believe that? I don't have a single Lancome product. And this is their blush highlight uh, in shade 01. I saw this and was like, it was like we were made for each other. Oops, there goes a little brush that comes with it. Look how pretty that is. I even like the design. I think the design's like so pretty. And it's like a really pretty like white, like white highlight. It's so beautiful. I'm going to gag with this stuff on my lips right now. And then also, um, I picked up the out of the swap box, the Mac pigment in Neo orange. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I have wanted this forever. Every time I go to Mac, I like want to buy this. And then I'm like, what am I going to do with that? I, I can't buy that. I'm not going to use it, but it's so like rad and pretty and such a crazy color that I've just always wanted it. And you know what I figured a swap box is like the perfect time to like, get it. Look at that. Like serious neon orange. I could turn this into a lipstick. That might be, I don't know what I'm, I honestly don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Um, but I cannot wait to try it. So those are some things that I picked out from the swap box. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's laying around right here that I didn't tell you about. Um, and I, I have like another box coming, like a package coming from Beautylish. It's not here yet, but I'll just save that for my next haul. And maybe I'll put my new shoes in that next one too, since I don't know where those are. Sorry. Not super organized allergy city around here. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.